Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn where we have lots of explosions ready and waiting to happen which we'll do in just a moment um, but uh, I want to say I mean, I've, I've just said the plan ever slightly ever so slightly uh, so thank you everyone for the comments on the previous episode about which way we should do the power lines general consensus is to run them behind so if we look in this direction the power will be run from behind here so the power wheels will go in on top of platforms like this and then we'll run the power line above this one here on platforms above and we can have beavers run down on top of these levees to reach either side and do whatever they're doing there that'll be fine that'll be fine um i think my plan is going to be to mostly we'll use t-junctions to uh, connect the power up but there'll be cross sections every now and then and then the power will come out of that come down and plug back in again so that, that's going to be the idea down there. That should be good. I've also adjusted this end bit here um, because it was pointed out in the comments. I don't think it was last episode. It was the episode before. And I've... Yes, I think it was the episode before that we need a pool for the bad water because we still need to pump bad water out. We need bad water for things. So instead, we're going to have this pull into a hole here, which is going to be a 5x5. Five it's currently 7x7 seven seven because I want to put levees all around it and fill levees in, so it's going to be 5x5. Five five. Um, and it will just have dams on the end and it will fill with water. And because it will be levee all around, it won't affect the land around it. And it should be fine. It shouldn't affect our good pools because our good pools will be something over here somewhere. So um, the, the, uh, the end will be here somewhere. So that should be fine. So let's detonate this one. There you go. Boom. Um, I do want to blow up more of it all the way down. I think we can go one deeper there. Yeah, I think we can go one deeper. There. So I want to blow up more of it all the way down. And then uh, it's going to be five by five by four deep by the looks of it. I think that's the best we can do. Uh, I could make it five deep and just have it ground and just put levees all around the outside of it. We could also put in, uh, obviously, the irrigation barriers and things, but that requires us to build up and around it. And so I'm just going to do it with levees. It's easier. So um, let's build a way to get down there. Put in some ladders. Ooh. And we will blow up another segment in here. I'll do the whole lot. Um, and then we can levy the whole thing out. Yeah, I think we just put levees around the outside. I won't put levees in the bottom. Shouldn't matter because the water shouldn't transfer across underneath and up because we'll have levees around the edge. So... That should be fine. Okay. Um, also, uh, they should be coming and building these logs now because they've just finished building this metal platform here, which is awesome. Uh, this one here, um, I'm, I'm the slight adjustment I want to do here. Not, not we're not changing the plan. It's just changing the uh, the middle of it as it would be. Um, rather than blow this all up and blow it down, which we, we're going to blow up and down. I was thinking I could blow a channel actually using the ground to connect to the water supply, and then we could get the thing like kind of running which will allow us to move things around and do bits and pieces and stuff. So um, it also get rid of the bad water from down here, which means we could do stuff like get this scrap metal and things. So I think that'd be an idea. My only concern with this plan is that we're only going one deep on the levees. I'm concerned that the amount of water wheels are going to push the um, bad tide back too much and it's going to cause flooding. So really not sure which way around I'm going to do this because I, th I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in a row of platforms along the side here all the way along um, and then a row of platforms on top and the on top will be the power line and just below it will be where the beavers walk I think that's going to be the best case scenario here mm because then that will allow me to put in levees underneath here so I can put in levees where the power connections are just in case we do need to fill it with levees because I'm not sure if we will or not we won't have to all the way down there but up here we might have to have like a double deep one because the bad water coming in it might not it might not but the amount of wheels we're going to put in here so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 22 wheels it's probably going to back the bad water up and cause it to overflow over here somewhere so so we might have to have one two or three be higher levels and i'd rather put in the higher levees on each one 
now and have the power wheels on top of and have the power wheels run on that rather than not do it basically so yeah let's destroy that let's run a platform all the way along like this Yep, like that. Then we'll get levies, and we will come down here, and we'll put levies. This. May not look as aesthetically pleasing doing it this way, but it's for safety reasons. And as anybody who works with anything to do with health and safety, you'll know they do not care about how things look they only care about how impractical stuff i mean how safe things are yeah yeah that, that's definitely yeah that's what i meant that's what i meant yeah so do a row up to there for the moment and then we'll just run a road all the way down here i'm very confused as to how you are walking all the way down here um you're walking all the way down there to place them down you there, there is there's no building there what are you putting down you're putting down explosives no they're giving logs to the planks things on the end i don't know how they're getting to do that that's bizarre they shouldn't be they shouldn't be able to reach those at the end huh that's strange oh well Oh, well, yeah, they're building. That's, that's really weird. That's really weird. So, a district center can reach to about here, which makes sense. I do not know why they're adding bits down here. They shouldn't be reaching that. The edge should be right here. So, very, very, very strange indeed. Let's um, demolish this here. We still need to put the irrigation barriers in the bottom of this. Um, that's got to happen. Oh. Can you put water wheels on top of irrigation barriers? I would think so. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to. So we'll redo this one here. Um, so I would think you could put things on top of irrigation barriers. The no, penetrable floor, sorry, not irrigation barriers. Sorry. Um, so let's put in just 10 on the end. Let's put a large water wheel. Yes, you can. Awesome. Okay, so a large water wheel can sit on top of that. And that's where it's going to be. So the water will be there. Water back running through the bottom of it. Pouring at the end. Down to here. Awesome. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, penetrable floor. All the way up. And I want to change the priority of that impenetrable floor to be the lowest thing. I want you building the bridge before you build the impenetrable floor. I want you building this bridge with the metal before you build the impenetrable floor in, into it. So, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So we'll build. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. You do that there. You're going to get down here and start putting the explosives in there. That'll be cool there. Let's explode something, shall we? Let's do it. Bang. And another bang. And another bang. It's all higgledy piggledy here, mixed up here, there, and everywhere, but I needed to use the most extract and the least amount of explosives to do things, so that's why we've done things this way. So, bomb, bomb, bomb. You know, almost two days to explode as well. Pop, pop. So we're just taking the man down piece by piece. We'll, we'll even it up in bits there. Normally, I would put in, like, I'd put in um, a three here, a two here, and a one here to get it all down to one level so I can blow it as it's going. But um, we have not a lot of dynamites, as in, like, one dynamite right now, um, but a lot of extract. And if I just use threes, then it's easier, and we'll just build staircases and things to get things going. So that's it here. Let's blow this one up. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, I'm making sure not to get too close to the edge here or anything. So, yeah, we need to blow this up in here. But I can't do all of that because of the bad tide, bad, bad water there. So, I need to do 
that, I think. See, the, pro the this this is where it becomes kind of a problem because if I block that and that, that's fine. But now I can't reach down here to blow this up, so I would have to build down it. Later. That's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out later. Uh, what I want to do is I want to blow this one up and then get this one down to the level that needs to be to put a platform in, and then put a platform in another metal block, and then go to the next one, then go to the next one, then go to the next one, and then that will be our thing. We'll just block this area here. But I need to get to this. Um, I think I'm just going to literally platform across this guy. Like this. And then we will uh, come down like that. Um, let's turn that that way so you get access to that row as well. So we can put dynamite in there at some point, should we need to, which we will probably have to. Okay, run that across there. And then what we want to do is we want to blow up. So we got this segment here, which means we want to get to here, which is kind of awkward because we can't get to there because I've blown up more than I should have done. Um, let's put another ladder there. That will get us on top of this one. And then we can block this. Yeah. Oop, okay. So... Let's try and get this done here. So um, one, two, three, four. So it should be there. And then one, two, three, four, there. Two, three, four. Not quite lined up with this here, but that's okay because um, I'll go by two here and we'll. We'll figure the ceiling off of this and stuff and whatnot at a later date. Right now, I just want to get the water into the channel. We can turn these on and off at will, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Um, something else just dawned on me. Just just now dawned on me is batteries. Um, we're going to need batteries. We obviously want batteries. Bat batteries will make sense. Um, we could use engines as well, but I kind of want to use the infinite power wheels. Uh, um, but I do want batteries, even though they're infinite power. Um, I would like some batteries. For. I can say some batteries when we turn these off, but then we can turn these off, build things we want to build, and then turn them back on again and it's, it's infinite power so there's not really any point to having batteries i mean we could do and they could be charged up during the night and empty during the day which means the our power grid doesn't have to be 100 percent. so if we if we supply less than we demand obviously then the power grid doesn't work but if we have it so that we are if we do need more than we're providing the batteries will will discharge during the day when the buildings are in use and at night time when beavers are asleep the batteries will recharge so batteries will probably make sense. So we'll do we'll, we'll put batteries in just because we can. And I think they'll sit on top of the next platforms up there. And there'll be the connections between the two. So there'll be two batteries on each one. So uh, a power wheel here will have a battery here and a battery here. And then in between, it will have a, uh, a cross section so the power can come out and come straight down to underneath. That'll, that'll work. That'll work. Kind of redundant. It, it is it is kind of redundant i know that i know that but batteries will probably just get charged and stay charged all the time but i don't mind that if i'm honest with you i really don't mind that at all so let's put in crosses at each and every one of the segments so that we have the option to run the power down everywhere we want to remember we have vertical power lines so what we can do now is just down here put a vertical line in build it all the way up to the top connect it to that and power comes down we can't really get to it a lot of the time um we're gonna have to build like um temporary stairs or ladders up next to it to build it and then destroy the ladders that's fine that's not a problem at all so we can do that that'd be fine uh then the water wheels will go in here and here and then the batteries will go in here and here and they'll be connected to the system and they'll be dropping down however far that is um i'm not even fast we might even put buildings underneath them anyway um i'll try to put the industry on this side but we might put some industry on this side as well and i'm not fussed about it if the batteries don't get that much power it's fine it's fine so 
That'll work. That'll work. It's a little bit more resources than we have. Like, we don't have any metal at the moment. Like, at all. We are struggling for metal. We um, plenty of scrap. But we don't have any uh, metal blocks because we're using so many of them right now. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that's where the next one's going to go. We still want to get to this one here. So, let's... Um, I'm going to... Do the old-fashioned way of getting down to that one. Oop, like that. We can build that one. We can build that one. Once this is built. Uh, we can't build that one because we can't get to it. And we can't build that one because we can't get to it. Is that the right spacing? Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two three, four. Four between them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so they're every five. Okay, so that is the correct spacing for all of them there. Remember, we need to go down to level four. Put them in. And, and we're going to have to stop these when we blow these ones up here because the water's going to pour out of this one if we do that. So, okay, okay. That's too far away from any storages. Uh... Let's put in a staircase here. Like that. There we go. That gives it access to all of those. All of those we should have access to. So blow that one up, that one up. This, not so much. We might get one, I think, built here. Um, not really a great deal. Not, not all that fast about that. Uh, yeah, we want to go down to four. So... Okie dokie, okie dokie, that's working fine there. Um, water's working fine, we've got, we've got all the res all the resources have been fine. Uh, our core rabbit is still dropping, it's dropping very slowly. Like very, very slowly the core rabbit is going down. It was 600, remember last episode? It's been many cycles since then. Um, and the core rabbit has dropped a little bit. And I think it's a harvesting thing. I just don't think we have enough beavers to harvest it. Also, I've just noticed we've got four beavers living in, uh, living, living rough. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let's put a couple of uh, those in there. And then let's put another breeding pod in as well. Um, we'll put the breeding pod in there. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will build a couple more farms here. I th yeah, I think this is just purely a... Uh, Leave those on on none and these can carry on on soybean but you know what no i'll put these on soybean as well soybean so far away uh they will deal with that anyway so one two three four five six seven eight so i'm going to put the n2 on uh planting sorry the n2 on planting and all the rest can be on harvesting now harvest 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 so there so boom, there you go and you'll plant you barely get any soybean, you're mostly core rabbi and it should be fine. If people start filling this one up, which would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Noble beavers living rough. Excellent. We don't have any explosives yet here. We don't have any explosives, I think, uh, in the game at all. Let's up the priority of these ones, because these are the ones we actually want to build first. Oh, no. Get rid of... Oh, that doesn't matter. Build it, it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's just purely a marker. It can live there happily, and I'll be like, oh, what's that for? There's a power line in. Look at that. Power lines put in. Power connections put in. We could put the batteries in around that. We don't have the metal for the batteries yet, but that's fine. Um, the impermeable floor. I need to put the impermeable floor in first, but I've just remembered I've removed the path, because I'm an idiot. Um, so let's uh, re add the path. <laughs> Oh, oh, we need a path running inside this as well because we need to get the permeable floor in there. But um, hopefully they will build this first. He says trying to click it um, before they do any permeable floor because that's lower priority. So they shouldn't do. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's detonate this guy. Pop. Okay. Bring up our tool. And that's seven. We want to go to four. Four, five, six, seven. So. We want to go down another three. Which is another explosive. Okay. 
detonate this one, detonate this one. Um, so these will all also want to go down. Oh, one button, that uh, X. That's seven. That's nine. So you want to go down by three and three. Um, you want to go down by another three. So we'll pop that one and pop that one. And that one and that one there like that. So you will want to go down like that and make these the highest priority. We need to blow up stuff around it as well. I just kind of want to get things right. So they're leveled. You want to go down by two more. You want to go down by three and three more. Uh, well, yeah, so blow that one up to level, blow that one up to level, blow that one up, need to put down two, blow that one up, need to put down another three, and that one's another three as well. I believe. We'll double check it. We will double check it. Okay. Bomb got built. That's awesome. Um, are these all high priority? They should be slightly higher priority so that beavers always come and get food and the pups are the highest priority cool. we might need to get some more water storage going as well um where are we right now we're, we're, how, how many breeding pods do we have so um they're all dried around so uh, three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen um and we are on 20 percent happiness so that's 12 13 times 12 Trusty calculator is 156 beavers. Okay, times that by three, which is 468 beaver water uh, we need per day, and times that by 14 because we have a maximum of 14 day drought. We need six and a half thousand water to support our population. We currently have 6,600 water, so we are right on the edge. Plus, whatever's stored in these, uh, and we can pump this for a little while longer. So we're still good for water. We don't need any water storage yet. I'm not sure what our population is going to go to. As I said, if we get any bots, they're purely going to be for hauling. That's all we're going to do for the bots. So we, I'm thinking we're going to put in one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the standard... Um, uh, where is it? Science. So we're going to do the uh, bot part. We'll do three bot part factories and two bot assemblers because that's balanced um, for, the, um, for the, the amount of bot things you get. So think that's balanced. Um, and then however many bots that gives us, bear in mind it will be beavers working in there, not bots working in there. That's however many hauling posts we'll have. So we'll figure out exactly what that brings us up to um, and we'll figure out what we need, who, when, where, when and how. So, okay. Pop, 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 and pop. Yay. And where are we here? So we are seven, seven, six, four, four so you want a two you want a three you want a three and then we're at the height we need to be things we need to be at okay cool 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 then all we need to do is blow them all down to this height so we're one lower so we can get our platform in so let's that there, five wide like that. This one wants to be two. This one wants to be three. Be two. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, that's what is this height? Oh, push more buttons. That's a ten height. This is a ten height. So, cool. Okay, but this one wants to be two. Yep, and I want to block that there as well. Yep, that needs to go down a little tiny bit there. Okay, uh, so that's one lower than us. So this wants to be one through here. To there. Yep. And then this wants to go down by four, five, however many it is. Uh, actually, three. These all want to go down by three. Over there like that. Okay, so that's what we need to do. That's all the placement of explosives we need to do to do things. Right. Let's put in a double, triple platform, isn't it? So platform, platform, platform. That's all. You need popping in there.
Right. I think that's correct. We're not getting in here. This is the only place I don't think we're getting into at the moment. That's going to be easy to do. We'll just put a staircase there. That should give us access to all of this in here. Run a road. Access to these from up above. Access to all these from up above. Can we reach those? Yes, we can. We can't reach the these. Uh, yes, we can from along here. Uh, we can reach these. We can, we can reach them all. Awesome. Okay. So that's that's the final part of that we need to blow up. There's, there's loads to do around it. I'm just trying to divert the water onto the channel as early as possible so that we can get things sort of done with it. So, yeah. right. Let's get rid of these. I think I just deleted some rubble then, but oh well. Let's up the priority of the dynamite here so that we can also put the levees in here. Get this pre-built, ready to go. Uh, obviously, we can't do anything until the impermeable floor is done, which means we need lots and lots and lots of metal coming in. Um, but I think it's, it's just these are just taking forever to build. So it's just going to be a while. What I need to do is... Um, double check that we are going to be okay for Cool Rabby. And then if we are going to be okay for Cool Rabby, then I will just leave the game running. Probably overnight or something. I don't, I'll, I'll leave it over running like on double speed rather than triple speed because that's just more stable and it run all the time. Um, but uh, we'll let the game run for a long, long time and we will see under what happens with it. I think that's that's going to be the, uh, the thing here. We'll kind of figure out. Oh, and it can't build at the bottom of that anymore. So, okay. So I could fill in the bottom of this. I don't want to. Just gonna purely do this. M's there. And that's gonna be a pool full of bad water, and it shouldn't affect the land around it because it's all um, like that. That should be fine. The five exits will definitely be absolutely fine because we're currently using five, four here, I think it is. One, two, three, four, yep, and it's nowhere near full, so the five exits will be fine. That'll fill with water, with that, with, with that bad water. We can put our pumps in here, um, like so. They will reach the bottom, so we can figure out how to get one, two, and three pumps in there, and then do the same on this side, and then some on that side, and it'll be fine. And we can do um, pumps on this side as well, because they'll be underneath the... Uh, um, the the drop down the entrances will be underneath because this is actually one tile over into this hole so it's going to pour into this tile here not this one so it's only going to be too wide as well so it's only pouring in there we could have made it less than I could have made this smaller but it made sense in my head to do it this way because then the, the, the bad water pump if my calculations were correct Should have been. We put one there, there, um, and then I think I need to flip this one. No, there. Rotate this round, flip it one, two, and three again. And then the center ones, one there, and flip one there. And there we go. We can have that many bad water pumps. We're not going to need that many bad water pumps, but we can put that many in. But um, yeah. Um, I'm not going to build them yet. Okay. What I am going to do is put in uh, like a road on top of here or something. But the beavers definitely have access to the other side of it. So they're, they're doing it from the top as well. They're pouring in from the top. So that's fine. Okay. Okie dokie. So I've got to wait for all these explosives to be placed here. We don't have any explosives right now. Uh, they have built the platforms, which is quite nice. When we blow up all of this over here, we'll be able to put in the... Uh, metal platforms which is going to be a long time because we need lots of metal and um if i need to put one there one on top of that one 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 when i do these ones here it's going to be weird because the bad water is going to be pouring in on top of it but we've already got the platforms built so we can build them from the edge so it should be safe 
plus the bad water can pour through them because they won't have permeable floors. When we come to doing the permeable floors on this part, we will turn the power off. We'll turn the water off, which is turn the power off. And uh, yeah. Okay. So we shall leave this one here. We shall come back next episode and we shall continue on from there. Yeah. I think we're going to be good. I might get another metal um, smelter in because we could. I could block the edge here. Get another smelter put in on the end. I think we'll do that as well. We get another another smelter going in there so we can get some more. Uh, so I'm not too fussed about the explosives being quite slow to come along. Um, so we don't want to put a second explosive factory in there. I think a third smelter will be better for us because we're using way more metal than we are explosives. So there's no point in getting all the explosives done and still having to wait for the metal. I'd rather pop the metal up and yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Ooh. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>